sometimes the most advanced level of science all comes down to one person. In this case, that person is a 55-year-old Pittsburgh woman who, in spite of being paralyzed, mm -hmm. changed science. Action News anchor Michelle Wright was invited into this woman's home to talk about her journey and how she was able to move a robot using only her mind. Jan Sherman can't move from the neck down. She's forced to rely on others for everything. Oh, thanks, Mom. 18 years ago, she was healthy and happy, married with two children. But at age 37, she developed a disease called spinal cerebellar degeneration, which means the messages from her brain aren't getting to her limbs. So my brain says, move to my arm. My arm saying, I can't hear you. Jan is able to move her wheelchair with the help of her chin. But in February 2012, she had an experimental surgery that would change science. Surgeons attached two electrodes to her brain, and researchers around the world watched to see if this Pittsburgh woman was up to the challenge. When Jan woke up at first from the surgery, she had second thoughts. I had buyer's remorse. I thought, oh my gosh, why did I do this? I had brain surgery. Why didn't anyone stop me? How could they have let me do this? But the next morning when I woke up, the pain was gone. Then so were any doubts. It was full steam ahead. The man in charge of this was UPMC researcher Dr. Andrew Schwartz. He hooked Jan's electrodes up to a robotic arm, which Jan affectionately named Hector. Jan pretended she was moving her own arm, and as shown in this research video, slowly Hector began to move. I just can't stop smiling. It's so cool. I'm moving things. I mean, I always have to kind of pinch myself and say, wow, you know, I was just lucky that I was in the right spot at the right time. A time when Jan became the first person in the world who, with two electrodes, was able to work this new highly performing prosthetic arm with her thoughts alone. Because we were the only ones in the world doing this, every time we got faster, we would say, it's a new world record, yay! And then came a new goal. Jan wanted to feed herself chocolate. Watch this. <laughs> this moment giving new meaning to Pittsburgh's title as the city of champions. <laughs> 30 years of scientific research and technology all came down to one very determined Steel City woman. Well, this particular project and the success we've had, I think, is something that's pretty much leading the field. Uh, you know, we're. we're at the top, I, I would say. From the start, Jan knew this experiment was temporary. Recently, after two and a half years with her new arm, she had to say goodbye to Hector. She says, though, sadness over the separation didn't last long. She's concentrating on what her role in this will eventually mean for others. And she appreciates what Hector taught her. It's helped me realize that uh, one of my favorite quotes. You are more than the body you live in. And working on this study helped me realize I am more than the body I live in. A powerful message for us all. Michelle Wright, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.